So on the 4th of July, the CMS and ATLAS experiment uh, announced a big discovery, the discovery of a new particle whose properties are compatible with the one of the famous broad angler Higgs boson. So this was really a fantastic day for us, um, as we are part of CMS since its beginning, and we are now participating to this big discovery of this new particle, which was predicted, among others, by theoreticians from the ULB, um, François Angler and Robert Braut. So I was speaking about CMS and ATLAS. Those are big experiments situated at the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, which is a big machine, 27 kilometer circumference, um, close to Geneva. The LHC provides collision of a beam of a proton against another beam of a proton. And in this proton-proton interaction, produce a lot of particles in the final state. Why this Higgs boson took so long to be discovered? This is why, this is because uh, it, its mass was unknown, and uh, so we have to look for all the possible mass, and also because its, uh, its lifetime is very, very short. When it is produced, it immediately uh, decays in other particles. So here you can see in the screen a very nice event uh, that was recorded by the CMS experiment. So the proton beams, one proton beam comes from the, from the left, the other one comes from the right, and they collide just at the middle of the detector. You can see that many particles are produced in the collision, and in particular, two photons that are here shown in, uh, in green. This event is a candidate for a broad angler Higgs boson production, which decays into two photons. Another very nice event is this one, where again a lot of particles are produced, and you see, in addition, two electrons, well, one electron and one anti-electron in green, and two muons. The muons are kind of heavy electrons, so one muons and one anti-muons, which are detected in the muon detector of CMS. So those are very clean events, and CMS and ATLAS has recorded enough of these events to really claim at 99.9999% of certainty that it is indeed a new particle. This means that one times over three millions, we may be wrong. So this probability to be wrong is really small. This is why we claim that it's really a discovery. So this discovery doesn't close the book. We still have a lot of to do at the LHC. We will first try to understand the properties of this new particle. Do we have indeed the property that we expect for such a broad angular Higgs boson production? Do we have place for new physics? For example, does it exist additional heavy broad angular Higgs bosons at higher mass? And finally, does this particle can help us to understand better uh, important fundamental question in physics, like for example, what's the nature of dark matter? The LHC will continue running many years at higher energy and higher intensity, and we believe that we will discover new particles which can help us to really uh, answer these questions.